Hello everyone, welcome to Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about packages in Java. So the package concept in Java is really important to understand as we are also going to look into the access modifiers in the next tutorial. So prior to that, I want to explain you what exactly are packages and how you can work with packages and understand the core concept of packages. So when we talk about packages in Java, so packages are nothing. It's basically, you know, a grouping of related classes and interfaces. So uh, or grouping of related types. So when we say types, you can say, you know, um, similar classes or interfaces. And then there are other special classes as well that are in Java. So for now, you just understand that a package is nothing but a grouping of, you know, related classes. And what is the significance of uh, having uh, the packages the significance is basically providing the access protection and which is the second which would be the second part of this tutorial when we'll learn about the access modifier and that's where we'll get a lot more details about the packages and why the package is important concept in a Java so um, why do we need to use the package so the first thing is grouping of the related classes and interfaces and then the access we want to restrict access to certain classes then the package becomes really important in that case uh, the third important point is basically to understand that um, it it avoids the naming conflict and we'll understand that with an example as well and also uh, it provides the controlled access which is again related to the access modifier so if you see on my screen here all the programs or all the classes that we have created till now say for example do while loop demo if i open you'll see the top line starts with a package and then learning java followed by semicolon right so this is the package that we have created here so you see this learning java and all our classes we have been created creating below this particular package right now a package is basically a grouping of similar classes in actual scenario what you will be doing is say for example you are writing your test cases you will create a package for the test cases and all your test cases will belong or will be stored in that particular package so to create a package you simply have to create you know uh, right click on your source folder click on new and then click on this package and there is a naming convention for uh, the package so uh, that you can you know follow for example if we um, go through the documentation of this selenium uh, documentation you can see that the package naming conventions basically you know like the domain name so for example com the company thought works and then specific whatever you know application or the project it is and within that, you know, you have certain uh, modules, specific modules. So com thought works dot selenium dot web driven and then command. Similarly, org dot open QA selenium, org dot open QA selenium chrome, right? So these are some of the packages that have been defined already or that have been used to develop this selenium API. So if we simply want to correlate the package in our project, so this the naming of the package would be something like say for example people who have been developing the chrome uh, library or the chrome uh, classes chrome driver classes they would have named the package like org.openqa.selenium.chrome and within this package they have created a different classes so these are the classes that are available within these packets so if i click on chrome driver this is the class right so if i simply create a class and you see the access modifier for this class is public so this, this means that this class is accessible across everywhere and that is why we are able to use this chrome driver class to instantiate our chrome driver and use it in our chrome browser automation or drive our chrome browser so this public or the access modifier this public is the access modifier which we'll cover in the next tutorial so for now i'll simply create a chrome driver class in this particular package right so it is something like this and they would have 
created the classes within these packets. So that's how the actual development would have been done for these you know packages and the classes within these packages so this particular package has four classes so um, all the chrome related classes or the functionality that has been de uh, developed has been stored in this particular chrome package and this gives us a clear you know in indication or uh, or because of all these packages there is a clear indication or uh, basically segregation of the classes so for example you can easily find out uh, what exactly these packages would have contained so for example this IE contains all the classes related to Internet Explorer driver or uh, this JSON contains all the classes related to JSON operations and similarly at the top you, you have Edge, Firefox etc so all these packages are used to basically group the related classes so for example chrome is grouping the related chrome classes uh, ie is grouping the internet explorer classes so this is the basic significance of having the um, package and the classes now uh, let me uh, delete this and then we'll create another package and in this case i'll simply name the package as uh, package b and just to name or do a sample name there and another one i'll say package a just to show you how the access modifier and the package are being utilized so for example now here in this packages so learning java packages whenever we created a class there is a package by default right so what this means is let me open uh, this demo one and here say so for example i have to use uh, a method that is available in this class right so get data method so what we used to do is we simply used to create an object of uh, a class say so for example uh, this is the class demo one and then so because I have declared it as static, I'll simply remove the static. Now, in order to access this particular method, which is get data method, I have to create an object of this class and then I can access this particular method, right? Which is within the same package. Now, this package has con contains this particular class. And if I want to get access to this particular method, I can create an object and use this in this particular class. Now, if I want to use the same method or the method that is get data method that is defined in this particular demo one class into uh, this first program right so for example in this class i want to use that particular method what i need to do is i simply will create an object of that class so how will i create the object i'll simply say demo one dm and new demo one similar to what we'll do in the you know in the other class and then i'll be able to access all the methods that have been defined into demo one class so i'll be able to use the get data method in this particular uh, class as well which is part of the same package right now similarly if i have another class which is in the package a so let me create a class in package a and i'll say class abc let me put the main method there and i want to use the method that is available into demo one which is get data into class abc which is part of another package the package is package a here you see at the top so demo one is the class within learning java and class abc is within package a so now if i simply say demo one if i create an object of this demo one class can i use it in the next in this uh, class which is part of the package a and not learning java let's see that so if i say demo de is equal to new demo let me space and here if you see if you hover over then you will see that there are four quick fixes available so you have to import demo one 
which is basically a class into learning Java, right? So I have to import that package, that class, which is part of this learning Java package. And then I'll be able to reference the object or access the object of that, that particular class. You can see now I can access get data. Otherwise, if I don't import this, class then I'll be able then I either I have to you know define uh, or create a class in the same package demo one class in the same package or I have to simply import the class that is part of the other package in order to use this particular method right so this is all the basics about the package what is the significance of package and then uh, how you will be able to access the classes so as of now you would have only seen that there is only public modifier access modifier when we say public uh, class or public you know um, uh, any any public variable then in that particular case that variable or class is accessible across uh, all the classes or packages as far as you you know refer to that particular package and uh, the class but uh, in the next tutorial of the access modifier i'll explain all these concept of the access details uh, into very much detail so that it's very clear so that's all for this packages tutorial in the next tutorial we'll learn about the access modifiers in java hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching